Hello, Crossville First. I'm coming to you from my new home in Murfreesboro. I've been here for about two and a half weeks, and I'm pretty much settled in other than waiting for a couch and a rug that got delayed by the virus. But that's okay. I can live with that. I have internet now. I just got it on Friday. I just wanted to let you know how much I miss you all and love you all so much. I I guess I really didn't get to see you before the quarantine, so not much has changed. I didn't get to say goodbye. I didn't get to give hugs and have a little party or see people go eat with them. But I will come back, and someday we'll get to do that again. I'll, I'll come back after things normalize a little bit more. But I wanted you to know that I'm so happy here, and I'm so glad to be moved. But Crossville First will always hold a special, special place in my heart. In 1976, Bill and I came to Crossville young. I was very pregnant, and you took us in. Bill had a new job. I, we didn't know what the future would hold. We thought it was going to be good, but you took us in. You became our family. You helped us raise our children because we had no family nearby. Granny Looney was in that nursery every Sunday when we brought all three babies in there and she gave me wonderful parenting advice and she loved them and sang to them. And it was just wonderful to have her. There were so many wonderful people in our lives during this time that helped us as a family, helped us raise our children, helped us get involved in the community, helped us get involved in the church, why, when we got here, we started youth ministries with a young Dickie Hinton and Rachel Hill, still in the church, and others that I still see from time to time that are, were our young, young adults, young people, getting ready to start off in their adult life. We had a wonderful time at Crossville, and you all are a wonderful nurturing church, and I want to just express my great appreciation for that. Many have wondered why Murfreesboro, why did I move? Bill and I had talked about it for several years to be happen after we retired. We thought we'd probably come to the Nashville area where we'd be closer to all of our children. However, one of my children said, you were always going to Murfreesboro. We knew that. It was just a matter of when. And the time finally was right for me. Uh, certainly, you loved me and humbled me in every respect when Bill died and wrapped your arms around me, provided me with so much love, so much food. And I am truly grateful and humbled for that experience. But after time, and I was able to kind of get through that, then I could proceed with my plan. Of course, it got delayed again when my mother got sick and then she has subsequently died. But by the time that she really got bad. I was already um, in the process of finding a home. But why Murfreesboro? Well, Murfreesboro is my roots. I was born here in Murfreesboro. I wasn't raised here. My father was transferred all my life, and so we were just wandering around the country with jobs, and I never felt home except when I was in Murfreesboro visiting my grandparents for a week every summer. I had play dates. I always knew I would come to MTSU to go to college. Knew that from elementary school, very young age. I had people here, and I wanted to be around family. I would never had that opportunity, and I wanted to be. And so I came back to college here, and Bill and I met. We married here, and then jobs took us to Nashville and then to Crossville. But Murfreesboro is where I feel grounded, where I feel at home. It's also so convenient to my children now. They're all within 30 minutes to an hour of me. And that's important. I can be part of their lives. They can be part of my life. And I'm ex very excited about that. In fact, within days of moving in, the power went out in Nashville from the storms. And my daughter, one of my daughters, Alyssa, and her family had to come here for two days to bring their food so that their food wouldn't spoil. I had plenty of room in the refrigerator and the freezer. I had beds and they helped move some boxes around for me and were very helpful. 
So I was able to provide that for them within literally days of moving here. Then yesterday, terrible tragedy hit my son's family. His wife's mother was in a very awful motorcycle wreck. And I was able to run down there and take care of the kids while they went to Erlanger to see about her. Thankfully, it appears she's going to be fine. However, her boyfriend did not make it through it. And that's a very sad, very sad situation. But here in two and a half weeks, I've been with two of my children when they needed me. And I'm very grateful for that. I hope you all will come and visit me sometime. Call me. Stay in touch. I'm here for you. And I love you all very much. And I hope to see you sometime uh, before the year's out when things settle down. I hope to come back and maybe say a proper goodbye. I love you all.